being authentically yourself. You understand? And if you're being authentically yourself and you're operating out of place of love, then there is no space in you for you to want to injure someone intentionally. There is none. There's none in me. Now, it's a different story if you are an enemy or if I have deemed you an enemy or if you have deemed me an enemy and have, you know, acted accordingly towards me, then okay, then you get what you get. But I never, I do understand that back in the day, my words were harmful. I get that. I've made amends for that. My actions as well for those that felt like I was being a bully towards them, you know? I've apologized for that as well. But, I forgot what I was saying. But I just got distracted. But anywho, that's a, that's a test right there for me to just go ahead and end this video at this current moment. I am. So I'm hoping you guys are having an awesome day. I pray you will. I am. I'm out for my morning walk before it gets too hot. Because it's been beating lately. It's been beating. Yeah. But it's a gorgeous day out here. Stay on your square. Don't let nobody trick you off the street, okay? Don't let nobody trick you out your position. It's a struggle every day. But God appointed you in that position for a reason because he knew you could handle it. And I know we get tired. I know we get frustrated. I can't tell you not to get that way. All I can tell you is that find a place to motivate yourself. Okay? I know you want people on the outside to do it because you did it for them. You fed into them. You poured into them. And you're at any point want someone to just pour into you. But your pouring comes from the most high. You got to tap in. The moment you tap in, your whole life changes. The moment I tapped into Source, the moment I tapped into God, the moment I tapped into Yeshua and my higher self and my ancestors, thank you to my honorable ancestors. I started listening more. I started paying attention to what thoughts were mine. I started feeding myself more, especially when those negative thoughts tried to infiltrate my mind, tried to come into my mind and try and tell me I was less than. I recognize I would never tell myself anything like that. Never. So why am I listening? Because the voice is inside my head. Okay? Now that's real, real. That's real time spiritual warfare. When you got negative thoughts in your head telling you you this, telling you you that, telling you you'll never amount to anything, telling you that you'll always be the same, you're never going to change. Any negative thought like that, that is a negative pattern that was embedded in you since birth to keep you stranded, to keep you stuck here, to keep you not elevated, to keep you at a low vibing energy so you can be a battery pack for somebody else. Understand that part. You are a battery pack for somebody else. Somebody else that don't have that intuition. They don't have a connection to God. That is why they are tapped into your energy, darling. That is why you are a battery pack. And so I am fighting the damn devil. So I am not a battery pack for nobody but myself. Ain't nobody tapping into my energy unless I decide to allow them to. And you need to take heed as well. My conversations are conversations. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you about myself so you can take heed to the precautions that you need to do to protect your energy, to protect your mind. To, you, you're going to have to separate. And as I'm sitting here waiting for my opening, because I believe in miracles, I do. And I'm waiting for my miracle, Lord. And I know he know, and I'm waiting for that perfect timing. Perfect timing. My timing is not God's timing, which means my timing ain't always going to be perfect. I may walk up in something that I don't have no business walking in on because I want to go today. No, 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 no. So I am learning to sit still. I am learning to sit between effort and surrender. I have given God my effort and now I surrender to his timing. His timing. My ancestors' time it, the spirit realm's time it, the universe's time it. However you want to deem it, it is all the same. They just had different messages and went about it differently. It is all the same. That's why there is no difference between us. I don't care what religion you practice. 
And I always say, if you're an atheist, I don't know, you know, I, I'd really like to have a discussion with you to understand your brain. Probably me asking you more questions than a, a discussion, honestly, because I want to know how your brain works. How do you come to the conclusion that there is no God, that there is no higher power? I would like to know what you believe. That's, that's it for that. But yeah, if you're on this channel, my darling, you are stronger than you think, smarter than you know, and more wiser than you can probably comprehend at this moment because you're probably crying through a bunch of tears or feeling confused, desperate, all that stuff. Sit still. Find a place to sit still. If you can't do it inside where you're at, then go outside if you can. If you're a kid, put your headphones in. If you ain't got no headphones, go into the bathroom, take a shower, and turn the fan on in the bathroom, and turn the shower on and take a shower, or take a, t a bath. I don't know. Can you listen to music? Play some music. Because as a kid, I am not telling you to go ahead and walk out the house. Like that. That's just not what I'm saying. Okay? All right, my loves. Love you guys. Namaste. Ashe. Mazel tov. Have an awesome day. Hey. I love you guys. If no one has told you that, understand and know that I do. I do. I love each and every one of you because you know what? Y'all make me feel like I am not alone. I can't talk to the people in my place like I want to. 45 years of uh, experience taught me that. They look at it as negative, as if I think I know it all, as if I'm judging them, and it's not. Educating and judging them are two different things. I could understand them thinking that back in the day because of how the message came out, but I ain't been in that space in a long time, so that's just more confirmation for me that it is not me it is not i it is them and when you know that because you've done everything you possibly can to rectify the situation to amend the situation to get y'all back to one accord so you know you didn't apologize you didn't did this you didn't did that you didn't, it ain't nothing working and they still treat you the same way baby that is god's choice because he needs you up out of wherever you are at whatever space you are at, he needs you up out of there you, you gotta get out you got to get out because you're absorbing that negative energy. And so that's another thing I realized. As long as I am in this space that dwells with negativity and it's in the walls, I won't be able to reach my full potential at all because I'll still be fighting spirits. I'm still fighting it. The, the moment I walk out my room and there's a negative thought, it hits me. But I'm high vibing so I don't let it face me. I see the the mark, the, the the sneakiness. You know, I see it all. I see it all. I hear it all too. They just don't realize that. I think they do. They're just scared to understand and how I know what I know and why I know what I know. Well, I can't explain it, nor do I desire to do so. So. Have an awesome day on purpose, guys. Stay strong. You got it. I don't know how long it's going to last. I ask the same question and I get the same answer whenever God says so. So I can only tell you the same thing. I can relay the message. Whenever God says so. I know we think we feel like it's been enough. But it's still whenever God says so. I know we feel like, dang, I ain't been through enough. It's still whenever God says so. I know we feel like... You don't see what's going on, God? You mean tell me I still got to deal with this? Still whenever God say so. So, evidently, we strong to death. I posted on the other day, you know, I'm as strong as them goats that climb mountains with their teeth and their toenails, like on some real. How strong are you? I'm that strong. If I can hold on to a mountain with my teeth and my toenails, I am, woo, I am the goat, pun intended. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's how I feel spiritually, though. I feel like a giant spiritually. I feel like, I, I do feel like the greatest of all time spiritually. 
And because I feel that way spiritually, it's going to manifest out here in the 5D. I mean, in the 3D. It's going gonna, it's gonna to manifest on earth because that's the energy that I'm residing in. That's the energy I'm putting forth. I, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I just told y'all I just dealt with something. So, I'm not perfect at all. I'm still fighting demons. I'm still fighting myself because that's basically where the demons reside because they're in your mind. They're in your mind. That is spiritual warfare. It's spiritual. I mean, there ain't nobody coming to your house to throw hands, but they sending you bad vibes. They sending you bad thoughts. They sending you bad energy. Anytime somebody open their mouth and speak ill on your name, that is bad vibes, bad thoughts, bad energy. Anytime somebody speak negatively about you, bad vibes, bad thoughts, bad mind, okay? That affects you. It affects you. It affects you to the point where you'll start thinking at yourself. You'll start thinking at yourself. You'll start thinking at you are these things. And it's not. It is someone throwing that at you. Projecting. You know, like a movie projector. You got the you got the little film and then it projects onto the screen. Somebody is projecting their negative thoughts onto you. You wake up feeling all good and then all of a sudden you feeling low and you having these negative thoughts. I mean, you, that's somebody else. You are absorbing their energy and they don't have to be in close proximity to you. Get that through your head. They ain't got to be a close friend. It could be somebody you ain't seen in 10 years that is still energetically connected to you and, and throwing salt in your game. Literally. I discovered it. I wouldn't tell you no lie. I wouldn't tell you no lie. Everything I have said thus far on this channel is from experience, personal experience, personal, not no hearsay or no he say, she say, no, I went through it personally. I experienced all the emotions that went along with it, betrayal, hate, anger. I try not to hate though. I try not to hate. But I was angry. I'm not angry no more because I understand God's purpose for that. I do. And so you have to come to that understanding within yourself. I don't know where you're at on your journey. You could be in the middle, the beginning, or the end. I don't know. But you have to come to the understanding. I'm still learning, growing, and knowing. And as I learn it, I try to apply it. And so I'm beginning the journey now as I come back to where I began at. Mm, mm, mm. I just had another thought, but I'm gonna keep that one to myself because I believe it's personal. Whew. So wish me luck. I don't know if I'll be coming on the next couple of days or so. This may require all my attention. Because I don't know. I'm going into battle. And basically what that means is changing a toxic behavior. That's what spiritual warfare is. Spiritual warfare is you against you. Yeah, you may have people that are outside of you projecting their negative thoughts onto you, but ultimately you decide what you're going to do with that. Whether or not you're going to act on them or are you going to fight against them. That is where free will comes in. Yeah, you can be heavily influenced by the outside, the world, okay? But it's up to you whether or not you are going to partake, whether or not you're going to do it. And for the past two months, I have been partaking. And I felt guilty about it, but I'm like, my mind justified it, but there is no justification when you're vibing low. You understand? There's no justification. There's understanding. There's understanding. And then at some point, there will be overstanding because you'll know why, when, how, why, I mean, when and where. You'll, you'll have all the answers, okay? But this is a spiritual warfare. It is you against you. 
whether or not you are going to rise above, whether or not you are going to elevate, whether or not you are going to shed the life that you're trying to leave. You don't want to be in poverty anymore. I don't. You don't want to be homeless anymore. I don't. You don't want to be where you don't know who's surrounding you and whether or not they real, fake, friend or foe. I don't. You don't want to work at an endless job that don't serve you and don't appreciate you. I don't. You don't want to be in romantic relationships that don't appreciate you and cheat on you and don't know how to show love and don't know how to be emotionally in tune with they self. Therefore, they can be in tune with you. Hmm. I don't. <laughs> so I will say if you have said I don't to each and every one of what I have just said, then my darling, this video is for you. It definitely is for you. Hell, maybe you don't even say I don't. I don't wanna. Yeah, I don't wanna either. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna. But that's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to. And that is what this journey is about. I went on for a whole nother 15 minutes after I said I gotta go. So hopefully y'all clicked on because I think my phone probably started the second video. So if you came all the way to the end, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for commenting. I hope I inspire you just a little bit today just to make one little adjustment. It ain't gotta be nothing big. It ain't gotta be nothing extravagant. Just one little emotion, okay? I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Confirmation again. Bye.